once again, we have live team coverage of the flooding for you and the aftermath across the heartland. Darian Henderson is checking out the response in Poplar Bluff, but we begin with Sheree Honeycutt, who spent the day in Van Buren, where she checked out the damage at a popular campground. Kathy, while the landing is closed for now, it's not closed for good. Owner Tom Bedell tells me they're going to be moving their restaurant up to their higher building, and that's going to be open in about 10 days. Bedell is not sure when the rest of the hotel and tubing landing will open again, but he tells me not only is it hard to lose his business, but he want, it's, it's really hard to see what this flood has done to Van Buren. The economic impact to Van Buren is going to be enormous. It's going to be enormous. We, we totally uh, depend on, on tourism uh, uh, and this river. And uh, I, I, it's just it's hard to even calculate uh, what, what the impact is going to be, but it's going to be tremendous. Bedell says he's waiting for structural engineers to come out to see what left of the building can be saved. Now they are going to have tubing this summer, hopefully, but Bedell says it's not going to be until July 4th or after. Live local now, Sheree Honeycutt, Heartland News.